Good evening and welcome to the Interstate 95 at US-1 Interchange Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Kathy Enot and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the proposed project to improve operations and safety at the interchange. We want to hear from you and there are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to questions in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you, Kathy. Information from this meeting is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads dot com forward slash project forward slash four one nine seven seven two dash three. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email M E L I S S A dot M C K I N N E Y at D O T dot state dot F L dot U S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kul. A K O W S K I at DOT dot state dot FL dot US. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. The I-95 interchange at US-1 is located within the city of Ormond Beach in Volusia County. The interchange is the gateway to these communities and serves a high volume of unique traffic. The interchange provides access to world-class events throughout the year, such as Speed Weeks, Bike Week, and Biketoberfest. The limits of this project encompass approximately one mile north and one mile south of the interchange along I-95. Along US-1, we are evaluating widening from the existing four lanes to six lanes between Broadway Avenue, which is also Plantation Oaks Boulevard, and Destination Daytona Lane, a distance of approximately one mile. The purpose of this project is to improve traffic operations and mobility at the interchange, reduce congestion, and enhance safety for all travel modes. The interchange was designed and constructed in the early 1960s in the decades since its construction, design standards have been updated to keep pace with automobile technology, safety requirements, and driver characteristics. As such, some of the original interchange elements, like the median openings and driveway connections, no longer meet current spacing standards. The Florida East Coast, or FEC Railroad, that parallels US-1 to the south, and the cellular communications tower located within the northeast quadrant are additional existing features that will influence the design of potential solutions. Safety is FDOT's number one priority. This graphic or heat map represents the concentration of crashes recorded within the interchange area in the five year span from 2015 to 2019, with light green showing the least number of crashes and red showing a cluster of high crashes. 
because the data does not include crashes occurring after 2019, more recent crashes are not included in this data, including a fatal crash which occurred in February 2023. Hotspots on the map are generally located along US-1 at intersections, median openings, and driveways. An additional hotspot is located south of the interchange on I-95. The crash history emphasizes the purpose and need for this project. As approved mixed-use developments within the area, such as Ormond Crossings and Plantation Oaks are built out, thousands of new vehicles will be added to the local roadway network, many of which will use the interchange on a daily basis, and with this, congestion will intensify. Additionally, the tight loop ramps, vertical profile, and a vertical clearance of the I-95 bridges over US-1 and the I-95 bridges over the FEC Railroad do not meet current FDOT standards, and the existing bicycle and pedestrian features along US-1 do not extend the entire length of the project segment. The Florida Department of Transportation completed the Project Development and Environment, or PD&E, study in summer 2023 to determine a preferred alternative for improving safety and operations at the interchange. Various options were evaluated and presented to the public as part of the PD&D study. The featured interchange design is following the recommended alternative. The PD&D and design phases of this project overlapped a bit, which helps fast track the process. The existing typical section for US-1 consists of two lanes in each direction, a partial bicycle and pedestrian network, and an open drainage system. The PED&D study determined US-1 must be widened from its current four lanes to six lanes to satisfy the project's purpose and need. The proposed typical section provides three 12-foot travel lanes in each direction with a 31-foot median. Curbs and gutters will be constructed to collect and process stormwater runoff, and 14-foot shared-use paths will be provided in both directions. Additional turn lanes are proposed at the interchange to accommodate turning movements to and from I-95 and at select locations along US-1. I-95 will be reconstructed to increase safety at the interchange ramps and to address existing substandard features such as vertical curves and bridge clearances. The reconstruction will also provide accommodations for potential future widening to eight lanes. US-1 will be widened to six lanes and the bicycle and pedestrian features will be enhanced within the study limits. Shared use paths will be constructed on both sides of US-1 on both ends of the project. These paths will vary in width from 10 to 14 feet depending on the configuration. These paths can be used for both bicyclists and pedestrians. Auxiliary lanes will be constructed to the inside of the travel lanes. Signals will be provided at each roadway crossing, and signals at both intersections will be upgraded. The design of the Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI, provides many operational and safety benefits for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. The large number of left turns, coupled with the high percentage of trucks, makes the DDI a perfect fit for this location. In general, US-1 traffic approaching the DDI will cross over at signalized intersections, which then provides free-flowing movements for the large number of vehicles turning left to get onto I-95. The left turns exiting I-95 merge with the US-1 traffic rather than cross it. This configuration improves traffic flow while minimizing the number of potential crash locations and the potential severity of those crashes. The DDI also increases the safety features for pedestrians and bicyclists with protected signalized crossing. US-1 below the I-95 bridge will be reconstructed to accommodate the DDI and will feature six travel lanes along with auxiliary lanes and shared use path and the median for bicycle and pedestrian use. Approximately 9.7 acres of additional right-of-way will be required to construct the proposed interchange improvements. This includes the relocations of two businesses and partial impacts to other parcels for frontage road construction, intersection expansion, and drainage pond expansion. The proposed improvements will remove the median openings at Rosemary Street and Benton Street, 
and place a median opening in between at McDonald's and Dollar General to minimize conflict points, thereby improving traffic flow and reducing the opportunities for crashes. The proposed improvements will also replace driveway access along US-1 west of the I-95 interchange with a frontage road. The new frontage road will be added to provide safe access to the properties and reduce conflict points along US-1. FDOT's goal is to reduce impacts to traffic flow to the extent possible. The project will be constructed in phases in order to maintain existing travel lanes. Traffic shifts and occasional lane closures can be expected. No lane closures will be permitted during special events such as Bike Week. The design phase is expected to finish in Fall 2026. The right-of-way phase is fully funded, expected to begin in Spring 2025, with construction anticipated to start in Fall 2027 at an estimated cost of $204 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 1st, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with the project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 419772-3. You may also contact FDOT project manager Kathleen Enot directly by email at k-a-t-h-l-e-e-n dot e-n-o-t at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s or by u.s mail at the florida department of transportation 719 south woodland boulevard mail station 542 deland florida 32720 you may also call the project manager at 386-943-5149 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours the contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 419772-3 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by June 1, 2024. Have a good evening.